Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grantville, Pennsylvania on Friday evening, December the 23rd. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 3 this evening, folks. 6.49 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile 70 yard test on the dirt track. Three year olds and up race for an allowance prize of some $32,000. Contenders number five, Brand Macho. Number six, High Hopes, Empty Pockets. Number one, A, Peyton's Victory. And number eight, Two, Taverns. Number five, Grand Macho, an 8 to 1 shot as the pace profile later in this allowance field, racing at or about tonight's distance of 8.3 furlongs on the dirt. That's a mile 70 yards. Has hit the board in power run fashion and five straight, winning four times in this recent streak of a racing consistency. Jockey William Otero and trainer Diamitro Sinifias says send them postward tonight. They've hit the board with 56% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number six, High Hopes Empty Pockets, the overall speed leader in this field, also has a nice pace profile. Comes off a power run win in his last start. Race three summary, number five, Grand Macho, tops my contenders list tonight, which also includes number six, High Hopes, Empty Pockets, number one A, Peyton's Victory, and number eight, Two Taverns, five, six, one, eight, in the third from Penn Nat. Bonus long shots on Friday night, Hawthorne Race Course, race nine. Entry number eight, Quisp, eight to one on the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Nice early and overall speed for this six and a half furlong sprint. Mountaineer Park, race nine, the four to one shot. Number two, Sarah's Hot Shot. Drops in class by eight Trackmaster units. Has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last four starts. So from Penn National on a Friday night, for the fourth day at the track.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.